guys welcome back to my channel i am stacy if you're new here don't be shy get comfortable please consider subscribing and if you do consider subscribing don't forget to hit that notification bell so you'll be notified every time we post videos on this channel we would love to have you join the family if you can't already tell by the title of this video today guys we will be discussing finances on this channel i record fashion beauty motivation and lifestyle videos guys i kind of want my channel to be that channel where anyone from sex gender age race can come to find motivation and encouragement because i think we can all agree that every now and then a little encouragement goes a long way so without further ado let's get into the video here are six things that you should be thinking about doing already started or getting ready to do at the age of 30. Before we get started I just want to say I know that this is not a one-size-fit-all this would not resonate for everyone a lot of the things that I say may not relate to you you might very well be ahead you might be on your journey you might be well on and that's great so just take what belongs to you take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't and just get on with your life quick side note before we get into it as a profession I do work in the financial service industry so I kind of know a thing or two about what I'm about to talk about today so here is thing number one and if you see me looking down guys I just have a list here because your girl needs to stay on track so thing number one is a side hustle guys I think I can speak for everyone when I say a side hustle having a like a side hustle is is so important these days like 2020 came and this COVID-19 just knock our socks off like all of a sudden without any warning a lot of people are survived it and when i say survived a lot of people still have their job thankfully to you guys who do have your job you know you should be really really grateful because a lot of people lost their job a lot of people um didn't have an, a, a plan b and, and a lot of people are still recovering you know um and so having a side hustle is so 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 important guys now this doesn't have to be something major this could be something like a skill like a talent that you have that you can use on the side to make that extra residual income so for example for me I do have a full-time job but I also have um, one or two side hustles and these are basically talents um, natural talents or just stuff that I love to do for example doing hair and makeup I love doing hair and makeup ever since I was a child and so growing up as I get better at it, get better at it people would ask me you know who did your hair who did your makeup and when I tell them me they're like can you do it for me and so I just turn that talent or that passion into like a side hustle hustle and over the years I've developed like a book of business for people who continuously come back to me just for the service and that's a side hustle you can do the same and if you're saying you don't have any talent guys can you learn can you learn a skill you ain't got no excuse so get with it with that side hustle Number two is a rainy day fun aka a savings account guys and a lot of people may be saying, you know, it's a no-brainer. But to be honest with you, it is really not. Um, unless you're working in a financial industry or you're just super tuned into your finances, these things can go over your head. I see it all the time. But a rainy day fund is super, super important. And guys, like, do I need to remind you about COVID-19 that just came out of nowhere? Like, life on unforeseen circumstances can happen at any time. And you want to make sure that you have a plan B. You want to have make sure that you have something that you can fall back on you know what I mean especially if you have kids you don't want to just live your life like that you don't have a backup plan guys start small every paycheck whenever you already deducted your monthly expenses or whatever it is your commitments that $10 that $20 that you spend every day for example me like I buy lunch every day well most of the time when I when I get lazy and I don't want to take lunch to work I spend at least $15 $20 on lunch that money you can be putting aside put $10 aside into your rainy day fun um, another way that you can do this again is every year this is what I do every year when I get a raise like I would increase my rainy day fund amount by two three dollars five dollars how much ever I could afford guys start small don't feel like you get a start at a hundred dollars a month or a hundred dollars a week you don't need to start at your own pace and gradually gradually increase that guys it's gonna make so much of a difference you don't even know um, but yeah a rainy day fund is super super important number three and this is specifically for the parents those of you who got those little kitties is an education fund for your kids now I know the government do offer this thing called the RESP a registered education saving plan and the reason why it's registered is because the government matches your contribution up to a, a, a maximum every year um, and if you're interested in this definitely visit your financial institution and ask them to give you more information about this but this is super important guys it's like a little gift that you can give to your kids um, towards their education as you know education is 
is not cheap and especially if you got kids who want to be doctors lawyers all these fancy fancy careers guys you know it is not cheap and you do not the last thing you want to do is give them debt you don't want to start them off in life with debt i mean of course if you can't afford it i totally understand but again just like the rainy day fund the education saving plan guys you can start small your kids will definitely definitely thank you and they would appreciate it it is it's just it's it's really good here's thing number four a retirement saving plan for you now i just want to ask which one of y'all watching here would like to work until your age 100 which one of y'all i'll wait leave a comment in the comment section definitely not me i work way too hard and if i can retire early i will definitely do that but how are you going to ensure that at retirement you have something to fall back on is by setting up a retirement saving plan for yourself guys like you can't do that for yourself do that for yourself if you can afford it again put aside a small amount every month and dedicate that towards your retirement guys and I, I know a lot of people say you know what I have a retirement fund I have a pension at my workplace but guys the more money you have the better you can ensure you have a really good um, retirement you can even give something to your grandkids it is not a bad idea to have um, a retirement saving plan set up and I if you visit your financial institution they will give you more information about it I think you do get some benefits from the government as well um, when you contribute to a, a retirement saving plan but guys definitely look into getting this done like come on now we want to be balling in our retirement we want to be balling we want to be balling let me put you on Number five is saving for your home purchase if you're not a homeowner you're renting or you probably live with your parents depending on your age um, but guys you definitely want to get that um, saving plan for your down payment for your home started pronto pronto guys like I don't know if you've been listening to the news if you're in Canada but like apparently we're in like one of the most expensive housing market season like right now like houses is not cheap but guys it is way better than renting it is so much better you can build up equity after you build up certain equity in your property you can use that for your retirement you can use that for so many things guys so definitely start saving up for your first home purchase your second home purchase whatever it is real estate is always a really good idea idea um and i don't see how you can lose with real estate to be honest with you so think about that here is thing number six and this is the final um thing that i think that you should already started um getting ready to start are thinking about starting is a life insurance plan guys and I know a lot of people do not believe in life insurance plan. They say, you know, back in the crib and they say, when we dead, bury me. But hey, we're in the 21st century now. Um, we spend a lot, I'm speaking for myself, I spend a lot. Like I said, sometimes when I drop money for lunch, it's like out of 15 or $20. You can get uh, like, a, you don't have to get this a million dollar insurance policy. But if you have kids, guys, this is something that is so important. Because to me, guys, like, if I pass away, God forbid, the last thing I want my family to be mourning and worrying about is how they're going to bury me. How is my, I don't want my kid to be thinking, oh my gosh, like how am I going to survive? Where am I going to get money from? Having a life insurance plan, it builds generational wealth as well. If you change the way your perception, and a lot of people say insurance companies, they're a thief or whatever, but if you change your perception of the way you look at, you know, um, insurance company you would not say that they're thieves now granted some of them might be but i'm just saying for what it's worth it's just so it, it gives you value and again it builds generational wealth so that when you pass on you hand something down to your kids and they won't be left high and dry so guys if you made it to the end of this video like i said what's for you take what's not for you leave and just move on with your life but i definitely want us all to grow and glow here on this channel so i thank you guys so much for tuning in to um, checking out my video today please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell um so you'll be notified every time we post videos on this channel guys and i love you guys so so much and see you next time